Hello everyone, welcome back to my bathroom. Tonight we are getting unready. I'm gonna show you some of the products that I cannot live without. All right, first things first, I really need to wash my hair. It has been too many days since I washed my hair. So I'm going to use the JVN uh, shampoo and conditioner. This is by Jonathan Van Ness, the activist and hairstylist. These are uh, silicon free, sulfate free, vegan, color safe, all of the things. And I'm going to double shampoo. That's like my best tip. A double shampoo cleans like nothing else. And then I'm going to comb through my conditioner with a wide tooth comb. Just helps with de detangling the hair. <sighs> Clean hair, best feeling. This, I've just wrapped my hair up into my Acqui hair turban. This is a microfiber hair turban. If you have long hair and you don't yet own a microfiber hair turban, it will change your life. It cuts down the drying time by half and it's much gentler on my hair than the big bulky white towels. So now I'm going to show you another product so that I can't leave you without. A wonderful invention. The Velidays wrist scrunchies. What are these you might ask? Have you ever been at the sink washing your face, having a good old time, and then realize you've made the entire bathroom wet, all of your clothes, there's puddles of water on the floor? This mitigates the issue. It catches any drippy bits before they fall down your arm. Okay, onto the double cleanse. I am religious about my double cleansing. I've been doing it every day since I was 14. So for my cleanse number one, I like to go in with a really emollient oil-based or balm-based cleanser to really break down any makeup or long wearing sunscreen and get my skin really clean. So this is the Urban Jungle uh, Melt Me Softly Cleansing Balm. And actually this is my second jar. I just finished, just the other day, just finished my first jar. This cleansing balm is bomb. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger here and massage this into a dry face. The way that you use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm is you massage the product into dry skin. It's gonna feel really strange, but it's important that we do this first in dry skin and then add a little bit of water to emulsify and then it rinses clean. I like to take this opportunity to give myself a really nice massage. This is the perfect time. I also think that double cleansing with an oil cleanser in particular helps with congestion and clarity of the skin. So really focus kind of in the areas where I would get a little bit congested, on my nose, a little bit on my forehead. The cleansing oil and cleansing balms are definitely good for oily skin too. Also, these oily type of products are wonderful for removing any eye makeup. They just dissolve all of that long wearing eye makeup so effortlessly. This Urban Jungle cleanser is awesome. I have no critiques. That rarely ever happens. It's fragrance free, it doesn't bother my eyes, doesn't make my vision cloudy, it rinses really well, rinses clean. I just have no critiques. Now that I've got that cleansing balm all over my face, really massaged it in well, I'm gonna add a few drops of water and at this point, the cleansing balm will start to appear a little milky. That's how we know the emulsification step is working correctly. It's getting a little bit milky. Once that cleansing balm is adequately emulsified, I'm going to take a cleansing cloth, a face cloth. This one is by Emma Hardy. I've been buying these for years. I like it because on one side, it's got a muslin and on the other side, it has a microfiber. So I find that to be quite a versatile thing depending on what I'm feeling on the day. I'm gonna take my muslin cloth and dampen it with some warm water. And I'm going to very gently remove the cleansing balm from the skin. I like to use a little bit of a cleansing cloth in my routine because I find that it helps with any kind of small type of congestion that I would get on my forehead and just keeps the skin looking really clear. But yeah, we've got to be super careful as we wipe our face because we don't want to irritate the skin or cause any micro tears in the skin. Anything I do on the face, I'm really trying to continue onto the neck so it doesn't get forgotten. Okay, now I'm going to give it a quick rinse. Oh, okay, on to cleanse number two. So this is typically like a foamy cleanser or a gel cleanser, depending on what my skin is feeling like, maybe a milk cleanser. There are many favorites in my collection. 
I love the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, really gentle gel. It's got like a rose and cucumber scent, very nice. I also really am enjoying the Herbivore Pink Cloud Creamy Jelly Cleanser. This has a really soft lather, but also very gentle, really lovely. Today, I'm going to use the Dermalogica Daily Glycolic Cleanser. This is a gel cleanser. It doesn't have much of a lather, but it has the glycolic which is an active ingredient that um, has some moisturizing properties, but it also uh, resurfaces the skin gently. So I'm gonna massage out over the entire face. I had a, um, a facial with Dermalogica recently, amazing facial. They gave me a peel and my skin was so happy for weeks. Um, but the facialist said to me, I think you'll really like the glycolic cleanser and she was right. I'm really enjoying this just for a very gentle resurfacing, right? Where sometimes when you have glycolic or lactic in your toners, it can be quite a strong effect, but having glycolic in your cleanser, it's on your skin quite briefly. And so it's quite a gentle, gentle resurfacing. Okay. Now we can rinse him. That is my double cleanse done. Now I'm gonna take you to my skincare station. Welcome to my skincare station. So we're gonna do our actives and our moisturizing here. Every night, pretty much, I try to use a retinol. So what does a retinol do? It's an active ingredient that helps to resurface the skin. It addresses uh, congestion. It addresses fine lines. It helps with pigmentation if you have any sun damage. It builds collagen. It kind of helps your skin on every single front. So here is the retinol in rotation right now. This is the Synergy Skin Retifol, 0.4% encapsulated retinol. A big thank you to Synergy Skin for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm gonna take one pump of that serum, really liquidy and easy to apply, and I'm gonna apply that to the neck and the face. So what is encapsulated retinol and why do they use it? Encapsulated retinol, I did a deep dive for you guys, is when the retinol is kind of protected in a shell, in a case, and that case can break down as it's applied to the skin. And in this case, it's, it's like a cellulose, a little cellulose orb that, that protects the retinol and allows the retinol to A, have a longer shelf life because retinol is notoriously unstable. And this means that you can still have active retinol even if you're halfway through the bottle. Also, encapsulation allows the retinol to penetrate deeper into the skin so that it's extra efficacious. And also, encapsulation helps provide like a time-sustained release of the retinol. So it's released slowly over a period of time so that it minimizes any risk of irritation or flakiness. There is also some peptide technology in here that also helps to resurface the skin. And I find that this retinol is active. Definitely, I find that I get a really great resurfacing of the skin. My skin's brighter. It's addressing that little bit of um, pigmentation that I have around my eyes. Uh, really gentle, but it is active. If I, I find if I have the tendency to be a bit heavy handed and if I over apply, I definitely can get a little bit, um, a little bit of fine exfoliation skin underneath my skin. So yeah, been loving that retinol. Now onto an eye cream. This is the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. This is perhaps the richest uh, eye cream in my collection and my skin is feeling quite dry so I thought I'd reach for this one today. Tapping that around the eyes. What is your favorite eye cream? Tell me in the comment section down below. I want to try some new ones. And then onto moisturizer, especially if I'm using a lot of actives like my retinols and my vitamin C, I like to go in with quite an emollient and rich moisturizer, especially at night. I am loving the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I've gone through a whole tube and I bought a little mini guy so that I could use him when I was traveling. This is a great moisturizing mask that I apply all over the entire face and neck quite liberally and I sleep in it. So no need to rinse this mask off. You can sleep in this one and it will moisturize and hydrate the skin overnight. This is definitely quite of a thick and moisturizing formula. So really great for those of us who have quite a bit of dryness and dehydration. Oh, if you are dry and dehydrated, you're gonna love this mask. 
onto a little bit of lip balm, the Milk Makeup Melatonin Lip Balm. Lucky last step, I've got here the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. So I purchased this in an attempt to move away from the prostaglandin, prostaglandin uh, eyelash serums. So this one uses peptides to make the, the lashes and the brows grow stronger. And it's not as potent as you know some of the lash serums that I've tried, but I definitely do notice that it improves the appearance of my lashes and brows over time. It's a subtle but noticeable difference. So I continue using it. Thank you so much for coming over. If you would like to see more of my face, you can come say hello to me on Instagram at Kareem and McKimmy. I will speak to you very soon and good night.